Hey. Hello, Nino. How you doing, Sonia? Not too bad, considering, you know? Yeah, it's been, uh, lots been was, happening. A lot has been happening. So. I thought we should touch base, you know? <laughs> so you sold Congratulations. Mm. Listen, we'll go all the way back. Congratulations on winning your second term. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> How's it been so far? Uh, different, more dog shit. Different? Oh, it's it's worse now. I mean, in some ways it's good. In other ways, um, eh. barely been able to get anything done. It's like, uh, you know, it's like we've given the marshals something to do. But I've the way that they're going that about the marshals it. seem to be, uh, I guess, more active, is what I'll say. There's like twice the m amount, and yeah, more act. They are following me around. I feel the same way sometimes. They left a note on my tree saying, please don't sell drugs here. Love the marshals. I think they're watching me as well. That's what I mean. I. I they are definitely getting more in your face, you know? Mm. So why are they following you? Um, I've always been someone others would like to catch. You haven't done anything, Nino. That's the thing. You haven't done anything illegal. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> they think that they, they, they still think that you're a criminal, don't they? Well, I mean, you're obviously yeah. going to be. I mean, I, I say shit, and I think they've convinced themselves that they know everything about me. Um, It reminds me of way back in the day, like 15, 20 years ago, when I bought that chicken factory right over there. It's a little, you know, what is it, like half a mile away. Yeah. And um, I didn't even open the joint yet. And uh, I show up, and someone's like, there's a bunch of detectives hiding on the fucking rooftop. Because I think something's going on over here. That it can't just be a chicken factory. <laughs> and so that's kind of where I'm at with things. Where it's like, you know, they are looking to find something. Just like they were looking to find something on Pred. When they, they yeah. literally hunted through reports and a reason to try to raid him. In hopes that... I Hey, maybe he is holding a bunch of guns. I don't believe so, Nino. Honestly, I I knew it was going to end this way. Well, not end this way. It hasn't ended yet. But I knew as soon as he got put into power with how close that race was between him and Eve and just because of who he is and how he uh, campaigned, they were going to try and do anything in their power to get him out. I'll, mm. I'll be completely honest with you. Yeah, I sold them a, a warehouse with a grow up in it, but I did not expect them to raid it within like six hours. It's insane. He did he did nothing to constitute that, and we both know that. Oh, I that see. was an attack. It was, and and the worst thing about it is um, that they didn't even raid his apartment. Sonny, the detectives. We, we, I, we, I sat back and broke down the warrant, the things that they posted. This poor officer who probably, you know, sorry, one sec. Ajax. Yes, sir. It is ready for you to take a look. I've added a couple little things. Okay. Just to kind of drive home the point and to what I feel like will help to rally people behind it. Very good. I love it. I'll uh, have Pred review it, and we'll get it posted either tonight or tomorrow morning. Sounds good. Um, right. And whoever wants to argue it, by all means, I don't really care. But if you want me to do it, I'm more than happy to. Yes, I'd like. To, I think we should pair you and one other. I will see if I can get Pred to even just wake up tonight. Okay, sounds good, Mister Mayor. All right, take care. Bye. Bye. Um, I thought that was a fucking spotlight. What the fuck? I think it's the moon. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I peeled through it all and it's, it's a consequence of 
the marshals took these officers who hid everything from their own high command and their own command to covertly do all this. And were the worst, they a special unit or something? Or how did they have the... How were they able to do that from their own high command? The, that, that's being figured out right now, quite frankly, is that the marshals found these people, made them do a bunch of things that said, don't tell anyone else. The fuck? It's so crazy. And... and they didn't even rate the raid reason wasn't for stockpiling it was for negligent ownership which isn't that even pc that, that's not even negligent ownership would be like if uh you know you have a gun and you leave it in your glove box and you walk away to the store to grab some milk and somebody comes in and steals the gun right yeah that's not stockpiling stockpiling is like you're hiding weapons somewhere right so how the fuck would you get PC for a raid based off negligent ownership? Oh, sorry. I, I take it back. That was the claim that they made when they wrote the writ to strip Pred. So they didn't even note stockpiling. And they used the wrong writ. And we were joking about it and pointing it out. I'm like, yo, this officer that clearly is still trying to figure things out. And, and I don't want to harp on her too much because whatever. You're going to expect like a junior officer figuring shit out. But they were led by the marshals. But she learned about this writ stuff just out of the blue? Hell no. What, she wanted to go after the mayor and not tell her own high command? That doesn't even pass, like, a, a simple smell test, you know? So, hold on. You, you, what was the PC for the raid? I'm still, they, I still oh, don't know. They found two guns, and they, they... I'm looking at the raid right now, the raid receipt. Two guns, which, mind you, he only had one gun, which he still has, that he purchased. These were guns from more than five months ago. And they, the raid warrant is suspe uh, stockpiling, sale of weapons, false reporting, negligent ownership of firearm, and criminal possession of a class one firearm. Say those charges again. Stockpiling sale of weapons false reporting criminal negligence of a firearm criminal possession of a firearm class one so the stockpiling charge is the pc based off two guns my argument would be why did they put all of that in there you these are not half of this can't even be articulated so like how many properties does he own none he had the apartment the in the warehouse and they never did the warehouse or they never did the apartment when did the raid get approved was it straight yes straight, like which means sonya and they and the uh, the the initial weapon was found two weeks ago and they Hold never on. pressed out a warrant wait so they thought he was stockpiling wouldn't he be stockpiling in his apartment? Exactly. The exactly. They never went in the apartment. They, so they, it's like, how the fuck did they know what was in the warehouse? It's like, how, what, why would you go straight for the warehouse? Exactly. While he's asleep, which means they can't go in the apartment. Why would you not bring him hey, into a fucking room? And none of it makes any sense. Nino, I'm starting to think the marshals were watching us. <laughs> something i don't know man this is fucking this smells like bullshit to me that's yeah. fucked yeah. i knew listen i would have been i would have believed this even more so if you just told me they just came up with some bullshit like i knew he was gonna they were gonna try and raid him eventually for some bullshit okay but they didn't even do the bullshit right you know that, what i mean exactly and that's what i kept pressing on and i'm like if you knew two weeks ago there was a gun and you didn't put out a warrant and then you found another gun you didn't put out a warning warrant and then Did they check his cars i don't know i don't think so actually so, hold on <laughs> yeah, if you wait. don't check your wait wouldn't you be looking for like a van or or you wouldn't wouldn't your common sense say if this guy is stockpiling it's probably in his his cars or his oh, no 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 they do little solar Wait, Little Soul Apartment, Patriot, and Seminole. They never went in the house. 
They were at the apartments and they never went in the house. In the apartment. This is corruption, Nino. This is from the top. Oh. You know this is his ex-wife, right? Yep. And we, listen, we shouldn't be fucking shocked. Obviously, we knew. <laughs> we knew, right? This was going to be a blood battle and nothing was going to be fair, right? This You kind of you kind of just have to play dirty back. Speaking of... I saw the legislation for the weed grow ups and the legal mm. dispensaries. Now, can they retroactively charge him? I try. That's exactly what I was trying to get him to do. I don't know, and that's why we did it. I because don't think, listen, I'm going to give you a precedent, okay? Mm -hmm. Maximilian Thoroughbred released a law that said that you were not allowed to adopt people anymore without an ad adoption license. Mm -hmm. right then he changed that law and anybody that had been charged for that law was then repaid and their charges were dropped by the state now that is your precedent if you put this precedent out then and you use oh sorry you put this law out and they try to charge pred you look back on what max did and say well how come the previous government was able to do this and these people were not charged or their charges were dropped Mm. I absolutely and I think that's one of the routes but Sonia when you hear the entire thing and it is not my story to tell this is only scratching the surface of what happened do not miss out on the, what updates are on the docket and do not miss out on that court case it is going to be... Oh, no. I it won't. is going to be, be bad. It's going to be bad. I want you to know Espinos took me into an interrogation room when I got caught after shooting police officers that were trying to raid that place. And he was really pressing on, you know, who I sold the property to, uh, what was in the, in the property. Um what my relationship is like with Kyle Pred. He had me in there for about 45 minutes pressing. I gave him nothing, but I want you to know Espino seems to be the marshal that's taking an interest in this case. Angel was running the entire show. And we know that. And what you just told me just makes all of this worse. If he was asking you that question immediately following or during the raid that means the marshals literally had knowledge that you sold it which means that the fact that they even went about this without completing their investigation is actually in absurd you get what i'm saying right yeah i get what you're saying that's what i'm saying like it's oh uh, my it god I wonder if those recordings are even on the docket filing. That would be a Brady violation. It was it was recorded. If you're wondering about the interrogation, yeah, it but was the, recorded. But the docket filing's up. I don't think your recording's on there. Well, Espino should have it. He recorded it. It should have been submitted in evidence somewhere. If not, FOIA it. Get it. It's got to be somewhere, Nino. Oh, and if that my recording... God. Look, if I need to, I will FOIA it. You should, you. please. All right, I'll get a lawyer and I'll get that foyered for you and get you the recording. I, yes. Holy fuck. And actually, do me one better. As a part of the FOIA request um, that you need a report of each and every officer that was there. There were so many, but okay. I, I'm telling you, Nino, when I showed up there, there was, it felt like all of LSPD, all of BCSO, all the marshals. The marshals were in like armored gear, class twos. Like the only thing missing, Nino, was a tank. I, I'll be honest with you, Nino. Oh I was up my on top of Chiliad, God! Calling for an all out war. Because I thought this was an attack on our mayor. Okay. I, we had the BBMC come in. Edgar and, and the Mano were going to jump in. There could have been more too, but, you know, 
we had to stand down to our six-man crew against the entire world. It is what it is. But I saw that as a declaration of war. Them going after that warehouse, especially while he was sleeping. And you wouldn't be wrong. It was. It fully was. If, if The context that led to that and that happening right there he he was stripped of all power I, I was shocked that they didn't arrest him and throw him straight in jail as soon as he woke up i think I, do you think yeah. they they knew they fucked up or what like what do you why was he not if they'd already gone all in why why do you think they 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 didn't do that sonia while all this was happening i was on the rooftop of mission row pd speaking to lspd high command angel drives in leading the war party and the first thing she does is come to the rooftop and in the cheekiest punchable fucking voice of hers she goes hey guys i just want you to know you know lspd led raid on a government official yielded a bunch of narcotics good work and then walked away like She's as if she to... was dropping a bomb and the only I thing we what... could think about was like holy fucking cringe <laughs> Sounds like she's trying to pass the blame to LSPD because that's your department. And right? that's exactly what we said. And here's the thing. <laughs> Is that by all accounts, they use these poor officers as like a shield that yeah. uh, to hide Collateral. what they... But the thing is, they got to name everything. And what's going to be beautiful is when they have to take the stand and answer. Do you think they're going to be able to stand up against Angel? Any of these judges? Any of these cops? Any Angel of these other is going to have to take that stand. This is what I said to Pred. What's he going to do when Angel was the end of it all? And he said he's going to go to the Supreme Court. Is that an option? Is there yes. something beyond Angel? Okay, good. There if, always has as... been. All right, good. Because honestly, I... you both would have been fucked if, if it ended there. Oh no, it never would have ended there. She's unwoken a beast. I've been way too nice for far too long and um, just kind of taking it on the chin and saying it's a waste of I time. I said that. I said you need to play their games and be dirty like them. I know. They haven't seen you be dirty. You've been good. I, um... I've already commenced an orbital strike and the, the hits start landing tonight or tomorrow. Um, uh, I've already foiled the last four months of everything and I've requested Pred to do the same. I wrote up a document for him. Um, I'm actually the same FOIA that you are going to be issuing should probably be done by Dundee as well, followed by civil action lawsuits pertaining to a series of things, which I'm not going to mention at this venture. And the funny thing is, is that when you start to have to defend yourself and what you believe, it means that you have to start reading right it reminds me of uh and i don't want to draw the the comparison but you probably heard you know people go to jail right they're facing life they start reading legal books well as we started mm -hmm. myself and a number of lawyers that had their bar stripped for dumb reasons like ajax like ajax for defending himself when he was getting harassed at bcso exactly they are without hungry any, without any panel or due process just nothing just stripped his his whole career away yeah you i heard banished that from our court go leave my court <laughs> <laughs> mother Ra mother queen mother queen please tell us what you want what is your bidding <laughs> Go, my children, and find Jesus out Christ. of Nino, <laughs> Pray Daisy, and Tyler. <laughs> you know, we were saying, like, it's kind of like the Wizard of Oz, right? Yeah. Daisy Moss is, you know, um, you know, the, the, like, the main character, you know? Uh, and Dorothy? then Dorothy, yeah. And then you got, like, you know, Angel, who's like the witch, and like all her yeah. like little creatures, all like the marshals. The, the monkeys, yeah. the, 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 the things that fly, fly yeah. my pretties. 
<laughs> yep, that's exactly <laughs> it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. She's just trying yeah, to run wrong. like a fucking department, and it's just like she's just trying to go down the yellow brick road, and like fucking, fucking motherfuckers just keep coming through. <laughs> I mean, does that make you honest, man? Uh, yeah, I don't. I, mm, I. Are you behind the curtain? I, I don't know. I don't know if that's me or someone else. I haven't really thought that deep. <laughs> okay. But um, what was I gonna say? Uh, so we started cooking through this. And we realize that half the shit she wrote is not even constitutional. And what makes it worse is the amendments that she made are kind of like the is like such patchwork that it in some cases take legislation that would have otherwise been good and then bastardizes it. You know, it's kind of like, you know, it's like anything you try to repair, right? If you don't go back and like look at the source, like things get worse so they're, they're about to find out and um you know i um uh... what do you see what do you see the outcome of this like okay fred has been given back he's not suspended anymore correct um i Is believe that you're gonna see a lot of suits going against the marshals i think uh you're gonna see the marshals losing a lot of their powers and the judges uh ending up on equal footing as the mayors what um, about fred what's I, gonna happen to him a pred's gonna be fine his court case there's no way he's gonna be guilty there's no way he's what about his warehouse does he get that back does he get his girl up back? um i don't know yet i think given what has transpired if they are if their case goes to shit, they cannot articulate that it was used for a crime because the evidence is now out which means he would keep the warehouse good because he did have good plans for that, by the way. He wanted to make oh, yeah. it a town hall. And he wanted a legal dispensary. You know, Winsong was going to run it. She's run legal dispensaries in the in the past. It was... He had the best intentions, Nino. They just fucked him. You know that, right? Oh, he yeah. He wasn't being corrupt. He... Like... I don't know. I, don't, I feel like it's getting spun by people thinking he's just doing corrupt shit because it's him. It's... Kind of like the same rap you get, right? No. No. Because well, yes and no, the the reality is Pred is corrupt. But the thing is, he doesn't. He's left enough out there that people know he might be up to something. The problem is that if you know he's up to something, why not do it right? And yeah, because exactly. it was I mean, not done they had, right, they have fucked be, themselves. Let's be real. Pred would have fucked up eventually, more than likely, right? And mm. they would have actually been able to fuck him. But the fact that they've jumped on this so quickly when he hasn't really done anything wrong, that's where they're fucked up. Uh, exactly. I, I agree with that. Um, he's definitely been relatively more tame. In fact, he was rather tame when he was a marshal. I still, to this day, believe that he was the very best marshal that has ever stepped foot in that department. As in my first two weeks of mayor, something would happen. Like even the thought of a threat, he was there taking, making sure things are getting done. I now have my own console getting shot. Uh, Michael literally got shot by a, by Daisy Dukakis and her friend who's a cop. And they believe this guy was fucking involved. For getting his, the guy who's written half the legislation, who just wanted to, wanted to let a cop know he found his car that he reported stolen it's not 40 minutes prior. And they wouldn't even apologize. Oh, no, they couldn't do that. It would show weakness. Anyway, Nino, not. No more playing nice, please. You've no. won a second term. Oh. You can't run for three terms, can you? So you might as well just go all out at this point. Oh, Play I dirty. um, I, I, uh, the life was me. Well, as I, as I told Daisy that when the bullying began about two weeks back and it started to press and they kept on pushing down the way that they treat these officers for just trying to do right by people, mind you, and for not 
following in line with whatever fucking cultish fucking bullshit they have. I let them know that they're not going to bully you any longer. And if they do, they will find out who the bigger bully is. Good. I want to see it. One thing, though. Mm. If this doesn't go your way or Pred's way in court, and I've said this to Pred as well, it's time to say fuck the laws, fuck the system, and take out the marshals by force. You realize that, right? And there's people that are standing behind that and want to get in on that to remove them forcibly. Um. Yeah. The amount of people I'm I just to... saying. I, it's no, an, I know. It's an I option. Know. And it, it was the first option I wanted to go about, <laughs> but Pred wants to go the legal route because he thinks he can beat them in court, which is fine. Sonia, we but can. I believe we can. I and believe I, you can too. I'm just saying there is an alternative option here. I know, I know. God damn it. I had the same conversation with Dundee. Yeah, he's... he's I'm, uh... Hold on, I'm going to tell you something. There we go. Uh, no, 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 you're good. But let's not okay. chat about the wait, topic. How did you... Wait, let me let me clog him one more time, real quick. Okay, hold on.
Sorry about that, chat. Yo, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, Coyote. You uh, you were it... asking about my shoes. Yes. What the fuck was that? Medi's fake. Medi's fake. A lot. See, thank you to seventy-three months. How, what? You got springs in your shoes or something? Yeah, yeah. So I I got a gift. Spring boots. Nice. All right. Well, yep. uh, be careful. Looks like you're gonna break yeah. your neck. There, there's a lot of equipment out there. There's like spring boots, grappling hooks. Um, apparently all falling off that uh the cargo ship that goes around. Yeah, I've managed to pick up myself a shotgun. Probably gonna go buy another one. They're 200k oh. though. They're expensive. Now. Yeah. yeah. No, it is. It's good. It's good that there's more things to buy around here for sure. I need handcuffs. If you ever hear about any handcuffs, I'll see what I can do know. to bring them in. They had yeah, to piss off a bunch of Houthis to get that chip going around. Man, they're crazy. Say that again. I said I had to piss off the Houthis to get the cargo ship coming around. Oh, yeah. wait. That was you? Yeah, and the heists. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know, Andy brought a farmer's supply. market. I brought in some new fucking heists. Like, you know? <laughs> that's good why shit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, handcuffs, man. I need some fucking handcuffs. <laughs> but, all right, well... Appreciate the talk. Let me know yeah. if you need anything. Okay, I'm Absolutely. gonna get that for you, done for you, and I'll, right. I'll send it through to you. Okay. Easy. All right. All right, Sonny. Bye -bye. You take care.